So does that mean that the navigator would have to navigate without being able to see outside? Yeah. Did he not kind of go to and fro to the yeah. bomb aimer's position though? It... Strapped in, strapped in. That's crazy. <laughs> so we're inside Navarro Vulcan and um, Chris was mentioning that the left hand seat there is for the bomb aimer and the nav plotter. So Chris, what are the other stations for? Uh, this chap in the middle is the navigator. Um, and as you can see from the instrument panel, um, sat nav and uh, tracking implements uh, were not thought of at that time. Mm. So he would use uh, what was called um, dead reckoning on his map. And to get his position, uh, he would use a ship's captain sextant. And he would take yeah. observations from the sun during the day or the moon and stars at night. Uh, from the positioning he got of that, he would plot it on the map. Is that what these windows are for yeah. here, I presume? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's also a, a, a sextant built in here, uh, which would also allow him to, uh, if he couldn't get anything from there, at least he'd have a 361 up there. That's crazy. Imagine, I don't think, I don't think anybody would have that skill today. No. <laughs> right. So once he got his position, he'd then sort of correlate that position by... Um, uh, asking the skipper or one of the others to look out a window and give him any um, recognisable landmass. So does that mean that the navigator would have to navigate without being able to see outside? Yeah. Did he not kind of go to and fro to yeah. the bomb position though? It... Strapped in, strapped in. That's crazy. <laughs>